Hi there, it's Terry from Sisterhood of the Traveling Brush. This is our chunky, old looking finish video. Normally, uh, my procedure would be to clean this whole thing with TSP. It has a lot of areas where there's still paint in the crevices and still sawdust sort of on it from the thing, but because this is gonna be a chunky finish, I kinda wanna leave that on there to help with the process. So the first thing that we're really gonna do today is just go over the whole thing with a coat of weathered wood, just like normal, the DIY weathered wood. And I'm gonna try to, to make this go pretty quick. I'm just opening it with my little opening thing here, but I also have a putty knife, which we're gonna be using in the next step. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next step now so this can start. We're gonna use, this is a, handy roller cup. You can use a paper plate or whatever, but this is what I like to use. So we're gonna take some of this Farm Fresh, which is sort of a real awesome looking greenish blue color. And I'm going to just pour it into, and I'll show you here, pour it into probably, I only had a half a container here, so I'm gonna pour it all in here. So there's not a whole, whole lot in there. Let me get it up there where you can see this light's pretty bright. But I'm going to just take this piece of parchment, lay it lightly over the top of this, and then leave it out overnight. And the paint's gonna mostly dry, but get uh, thick, and I'm gonna spray a little bit of water in here in case I need more. And put the lid on and shake it and then leave the lid off and let uh, let this go too. That's gonna be the layer that I put on with the uh, putty knife, just thick here and there around the edges that's gonna leave lumps and bumps and all those kind of things on here that'll have, give it interest when we start sanding it after the other layers. So have a cup of water that I'm gonna dampen my brush in. I'm using the FL by Dixie Bell. And I don't have all that much in here still in the weathered wood, so I'm just gonna dip right in the can. And we're just putting a light coat on here because when we sand down through the other coats, especially on the edges and in some of the areas, we want this to show. And normally I would have put a primer coat here because I would be worried about whether it would have bleed through and things like that because of all the sanding that we did on it. But because that's gonna be part of this finish, I didn't want to do that. I want, I don't want you to be able to sand down to, for white to show. And I could have used a clear primer or a tinted primer, but I'm doing the weathered wood because it's gonna give the finish that we're going for here. You know, a clay-based paint, it's similar to a chalky style paint. It is very similar to a chalky style paint, but it, is even thicker and dries eventually to a clay-like finish, which is gonna be perfect for the next coat. And this coat will harden to that too, but it's also a very dry and chalky paint. And I have ceiling bands going in here. see this already drying and see the lightness in the color there that's this already drying anyway, don't forget you know nobody will probably ever see this but don't forget to get up under your edges like this it does matter in a you know for a professional finish in the long run to get that done.
So just get your first coat on. You can see this is going on relatively thick. I'm not putting it on like a like a real thin coat or anything. With the DIY paint, the clay-based paint, You see how much this is drying already? It's really sucking it up. But when you, say if I was to put the top coat on this right now, or as soon as it dries, it would bring it back to this deep color. This is weathered wood, which is sort of a grayish brown. I absolutely love this color, like a deep, deep, deep taupe grayish brown. But it would bring it back to the darker color. That's the end, and I will see you in the morning when we put on the next coat. Bye.